An oscillation check is a quick and easy way to test the lower bearing of your instrument. This bearing must perform correctly for proper operation of the unit. This test is performed after the instrument has been auto-zeroed and ensures that the instrument, with no spindles or accessories attached, will rest at the 0.0% torque mark. The viscometer will use this 0% torque as a reference for all of its measurements, so if it does not initially read 0%, then your viscosity readings will not be accurate. To perform this test, first press the settings icon in the top right corner, go to device setup, and then oscillation check. It will ask you to remove the spindle and level the viscometer. Once removed, press the next button and follow the directions on the screen. It is important to lift up on the coupling nut before increasing the torque to 10 to 15 percent. Once you pass the 10 percent torque mark, the percent torque box will turn green, letting you know there is enough torque to perform the test. Once you let go, this box will turn gray. You should then see the torque drop quickly and then fluctuate around the 0 percent mark. It is normal to see negative torque values during this test. When completed, the torque should read 0.0%. If it is off by plus or minus 0.2%, then it is still acceptable and passes the oscillation check. If the unit fails the oscillation check, make sure the bubble level is centered, re-auto-zero the unit, and perform the check again. If it still fails, Perform a calibration check using the appropriate standard as outlined in the operator's manual to see if the instrument is within tolerance. If this calibration check fails as well, call Brookfield Engineering or an authorized dealer to have the instrument serviced.